This is Twit. Well, folks, we've heard of all the stories about governments approaching organizations like Apple to hand over their data of all the, of their, some of their users, even though their devices on infrastructure uh, are protected, like encrypted or so on. Now, if these companies were big enough, they would sometimes push back in public and make it known that this is not something they would like to do. And it would undermine the trust, but because it would actually undermine the trust of their consumers. Well, the Australian government seems to have a different take on this subject. The Australian government has passed a new legislation that would allow law enforcement authorities to force tech companies to hand over user information, even if it's protected by end-to-end encryption. They call it the Assistance in Access Bill of 2018. Allows law enforcement agencies to compel companies to hand over user information, even if it's protected by end-to-end encryption. Now, if companies do not have the ability to intercept encrypted information... They are forced to build tools to do so. Yikes. Now, this legislation is not without controversy and drama. Even Apple's weighing in and saying that the legislation will weaken the data and security of all Australians with a reach that could jeopardize the data of companies, citizens, and societies around the world. Why, you may ask? Well, the view is that if there are tools to weaken encryption and security, then hackers will take advantage of this and exploit them, jeopardizing the digital security globally. Whew. Well, you guys remember the wannabe exploit last year that that was made possible by the Windows exploit stolen from NSA. Curtis, I want to bring this over to you first. What do you what are they thinking here? Are we are we in, are we in the twilight zone? Well, what I think we're in is a, an environment where you have people who are making laws uh, who don't understand technology. I mean, they, they, you get a lot of people in legislative positions around the world who do things like equate um, encryption to the locks on a door. And in the same way that you can, they say, uh, protect your door while having a key that would allow law enforcement in, why can't you do the same for encryption? They just don't understand the technology behind encryption. Um, you know, this is one of those interesting cases where the internet and its global reach has some implications that are, well, not good for, for those of us who don't live in that particular jurisdiction. You know, Apple's, um, their, their reluctance to sign on to this is entirely in line with the problem they had in the U.S. If you'll remember a few years ago, there was the question of a, a shooter in California who had an encrypted phone. And Apple said that they would be required to build a tool to break into that phone. And the real question in the U.S. was, can law enforcement force a company to build a new tool? Um, the decision was made by our courts here that they cannot. could be an entirely different decision in another jurisdiction. You know, I, I've had conversations with high-level law enforcement here in the U.S., and fortunately, most people in the U.S. Uh, understand that there is no way to build a backdoor into an encryption uh, product without breaking it for everyone. Um, this is one of those things where, where you really have to decide which is more important, the ability to have secure transactions um, every day for consumers and people around the world, or to make it the job of law enforcement easier on those rare occasions when they need it. I know where I come down, but it looks like there are legislators in Australia who may be coming down on the other side of that argument. Right, right, right. Chief, but I want to throw this over to you. What, what, similar to what Curtis is saying, do you, do you, what, what do you think? What's going on? Why is the Australian government trying to do this? It, it's, it's about resources. It really is. If you have really, really strong encryption and you have to start spending like the NSA does in order to break open uh, communicate encrypted communications of the bad guys, all of a sudden your budgets to do so start skyrocketing. Now, I'm going to go and set the Wayback Machine, especially since Mr. Peabody is staring me in the face, and remind everybody that one of the things that the U.S. government attempted to do back when strong encryption was actually kind of hard to do was a thing called the clipper chip. It was basically an encryption processor back when encryption processors hadn't really existed. And they purposely designed in a backdoor 
for the federal government so that the NSA wouldn't have to go and, you know, spend quite so much money to break into this kind of communications. It wasn't a bad idea. And designing it into a chip made it a lot harder uh, for the bad guys to get access to it. But, you know, it went back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And finally, not only the general public, but our part, our partners, uh, international partners, all said the clipper chip was not something that should ever happen. So are we doing the exact same thing here? Almost. It's getting really, really close. Um, because we have so much more computing power, now we can do it all in software. So Five Eyes is an interesting thing because they are some of our strongest partners. And being able to monitor what's going on is actually a pretty good thing. I got involved with a lot of interesting projects that I cannot talk about. But I will say that it was for the greater good. And being able to intercept the communications of the bad guys was a pretty big thing. Um, so I'm sitting on the fence. I really don't want the bad guys able to hide from the good guys. But I totally agree that if you weaken a technology by putting a backdoor in, you weaken the technology for everything. And once you do that, you start bringing in this slippery slope of always having to improve it and always have to change where the back door is so that you end up almost spending just as much money as you would have spent trying to break that original encryption. So, don't know. Sitting on the fence here. <laughs>